programming on KUR provided in part by the students of Kutztown University. Checking campus headlines, Governor Tom Wolf visited Kutztown University on Wednesday, March 4th to discuss how his innovative Nellie Bly Scholarship Program would help at least 25,000 students in the state's university system achieve their dream of earning a college degree while graduating with less debt and building lives in Pennsylvania. The visit was a part of the governor's tour of all 14 state-owned universities. The scholarship is named in honor of Nellie Bly, an Armstrong County native born in 1864. Bly attended the Indiana Normal School, now Indiana University of Pennsylvania, but left due to the cost. Bly became a pioneering journalist who helped force reforms in the mental health system in the early 20th century. The Nellie Bly Scholarship is a needs-based, last-dollar-in program. The scholarship would apply after a student's Pell Grant and other state grants to enroll of one of the 14 Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education Universities. To be eligible, students must enroll full-time in a PASHI undergraduate program and qualify for a federal subsidized student loan. Students must commit to live in Pennsylvania after graduation for the same number of years they received the scholarship. The program will be funded by repurposing revenues from the Horse Racing Development Fund annually. Governor Tom Wolf explains. Uh, and I think the deal, as far as the legislature is concerned, and as far as the 12.8 million Pennsylvanians are concerned, is we're all going to benefit from this because these bright kids are going to stay here. They're going to do great things for us right here. They're not going to be like Nellie Black. They're going to stay here and they're going to make Pennsylvania the, the, the better place. And it's not going to really cost us anything. It's going to be a, a loan. And again, from the student's point of view, if they decide, nah, I don't really want to stay in Pennsylvania, you can do that. You have to pay back that part of the loan, uh, but that's that's the deal. So if you want to come to school here and you want to stay here, uh, it's a free education. Uh, and, and I think we have to figure out exactly the details of that. Uh, but I think the broad issue here is that, that there is some, some money, and, and this is a place to, to start. We're not just going to be talking about this is and, and wringing our hands saying this is a terrible thing that our students are graduating with, with tons of debt. Pennsylvania, let's do something about it. Following Wolf's talk in MSU Room 250, a brief question and answer session with local media occurred. KUR's own Emmeline Nolan of the show Emmy Knows had a chance to ask the governor a question. Hi, I'm Emmeline. I'm from Kutztown University Radio. Um, my question would be, um, you know, you were talking about the horse racing fund, and that's how you're sort of going to start that off. But eventually that money will sort of go away, right? How do you continue on, like, no, funding it's, this? It's been, it's been funded every year since 2004. So okay. the, the, the goal would be to keep coming back and saying, okay, I need the $200 million. Sure. The horse racing fund, we've got $250 million every year since 2004. So billions of dollars have gone into to that fund. Um, this, uh, my hope would be that, that the General Assembly continues to fund $50 million in the horse racing fund and that this $200 million each year uh, will grow, uh, but it would be uh, for every year. Okay. Following the Q&A, Governor Wolf exited 250 and met with students coming in and out of the MSU near the Starbucks. You can see pictures of the event by going to our Kutztown University Radio social media and scrolling to posts made on March 4th. We check news about hourly on your newsletter here in Northeastern Berks County, KUR Kutztown.